Greetings subscribers and other curious persons. Welcome to another vlog inspired by the Goodreads Tuesday Talks group. This week's topic is favourite genres and why. Well, that's simple enough. I cluster around speculative fiction. So, science fiction, fantasy, horror, new way, slipstream, all of that kind of thing. Things that are about the world that's not only fictional, but is fictional enough to not be a recognisable analogue of the real world. So, everything on the different from reality side of the magical realism line, really. And as for why, well again, it's the magical realism line, or speculative fiction that's liked by trad critics as I often define magical realism. So, I like reading. I like reading to the point where it's something I automatically do. Like I said, I'll read cereal boxes and then the next morning I'll read the same cereal box because it's got words on. I read notices. So, I read a lot, so my favourite genres aren't the area I confine myself to, as I've said in a previous video, they're the area I'm interested in the most. And the thing that's interesting to me is the exploration. Science fiction explores what the world might be like if something feasible is added. So we know things can travel very, very fast in the universe. So what if people could travel at great speed in some sort of spacecraft? What if we lived on planets that were different, but still had recognisable laws that obey the laws of physics and biology and so on. How would that make things different? Fantasy. What if we change something about the laws of reality itself? So what if there were another sentient race on this planet that had a different biology. For instance, the Games Workshop approach to orcs being a fungus-based creature. So they spore and grow up into full-grown orcs, but they're a fungus rather than the way humans work. Some oddity that's different. How would that affect us? And horror, a world in which there are truly dark monsters, as opposed to the shades of grey of the real world. So what if there were shadows that ate people? What if there were vampires lurking to drag people off? What if some people changed into animals in the dark of the moon, no matter how good they were. Obviously, there's crossover in these. Then Games Workshop Orcs work in their fantasy setting and their science fiction setting. It's a blur. And horror, vampires, well, vampires are a magical creature. So go into fantasy or they're a separate species that still obeys the laws of biology 
in which case science fiction so there's some you know but the real coherent factor to them is that there is something about the story that is different from reality that lets me watch inside my head while I read how characters react to this difference and where it hits the boundary of magical realism is where the difference starts being something that's thrown in for aesthetic or metaphorical rather than realistic reasons. So it becomes less about how would we react to the world being different and more what is the moral beauty in a woman who floats up. So possibly the reason I like these genres rather than the genre of literary fiction is that literary fiction is smaller, less exploratory. It takes the real world and goes how do characters act in the real world? Whereas speculative fiction takes the real world, changes it, and goes, how do equally complex and well-rendered characters to literary fiction function in a world that is different from ours? So it's got everything that literary fiction has, only it's on a broader canvas. It can go in new directions. It can be more surprising. It can be more insightful. It can create a metaphor that doesn't have to be a metaphor because they're not constrained by having to be literary, by having to be this narrow definition. And which isn't to say that literary fiction is a bad genre. I like that too. But it isn't any more interesting than other things. In Fitzgerald, I've read a reasonable amount of Fitzgerald, and obviously The Great Gatsby is my go-to for how literary fiction isn't for everyone. I don't like The Great Gatsby. It's well written. It's a superb portrayal of characters I have absolutely no interest in. Now, if Fitzgerald had added aliens, I don't know if I'd have liked it or not. It would depend on what the aliens did. In, if the book was mostly about Jay Gatsby watching an alien invasion happen from the corner of the room, that would still be meh. It's this, I like speculative fiction because of the opportunity for stimulus, that it can be about everything that any other genre can be. So there can be romance, there can be family conflict, there can be moral dilemmas, there can be introspection, there can be heroism. Absolutely anything you could put in an ordinary traditional fiction book as opposed to a shelved in genre book but also there can be something else so it's a little bit like desserts is your favorite dessert a chocolate brownie or is your favorite dessert a chocolate brownie with a choice of ice cream, mascarpone, or whipped cream. Most people, if given the choice between the two, would go for the one that comes with something as well as the chocolate brownie. And that's my attitude to picking which books I'll choose if I have a free choice. But that isn't to say I won't equally enjoy the chocolate brownie if there's a chocolate brownie on the 
shelf. So, I don't know about you, but uh, I'm mildly peckish now, so I'm going to break and forade the kitchen. Toodaloo!